Dude, drop her off. She's not in her senses. I can't take her. Well, we can't take care of her. Drop her anywhere. Dante is an Uber driver, and he was done for the night. But looking at the condition of the young woman, he couldn't just leave her here. It was 19 degrees outside. Come on, you're home. Dante dropped off the young woman at her apartment building. Here's your bag. Your money and keys are inside. You don't have to pay for the ride. It's very cold here. Go to your apartment. What? I'm home? Oh yeah, this is my apartment. The young woman took her keys, struggling to open the door. So Dante opened it for her. Getting back to the car. He sighed, seeing the mess in the back. Disgusting. Now he'll have to wash this in the cold. Dante got back in the car and headed home. What is the matter with these girls? Why do they do things like this? completely lose their senses. I literally could have done anything to her. As Dante was cleaning the back seat, suddenly, he felt something cold and hard touch the back of his neck. A voice behind him. Dante put up his hands and turned to see a woman. Get in the car. Without a word, Dante got in the car. As she got in and sat next to him, keeping the gun pointed right at him. Look, I'm, I'm just an Uber driver. I haven't even made much this night. You're not going to make much out of mugging me. Certain things could be worth more than money. What do you want from me? You'll know. Drive. Starting the car, Dante nervously kept his eye on the road as he passed a glance at the woman every so often. How was he going to get out of this? Who is she? You see, I'm not even from here. I came to this country a few months ago. I have family back home. Oh really? You have a family? Who do you have? I have a mother, wife and two kids. They don't have anyone else. I send them money every month. They depend on me. Don't worry. They'll be better off depending on someone else. On gunpoint, the woman kept on giving directions and Dante didn't have a choice but to listen. He drove for nearly an hour, leaving town for the mountain ranges. There was no one out here, no way to escape but get lost in these woods and this weather.
stop the car. Screeching the car to a stop, the woman pressed the gun to his head. Get out. Walk. Dante quietly did as told. Following the woman's words, they walked deep into the woods, reaching a cliff, when suddenly Dante felt a heavy kick on his back and fell to his knees. The woman threw a handcuff at him, put them on. Dante didn't know what was to happen to him, but he pleaded for his life. Don't harm me. Tell me what you want. What have I ever done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Show me the cuffs, that they're locked properly. Dante showed the woman his hands. Putting the gun back in her bag, the woman took out a baton. She then took out a picture from her pocket and showed it to him. It was of a young girl. What did you do to her? I've never seen her before. Hearing his answer, the woman hit him again. Ah! I'm telling you the truth. I've never seen her before. Don't lie. You're involved in trafficking. What? No. I never did anything like that. I never took advantage of any woman. Even tonight I had the opportunity to take advantage of a girl. I'm not a pig. Ah! You're a liar. Admit. You did this. Where is my little girl? What did you do to her? I don't know her. Dante was really not from here. He moved here from Italy, but he didn't have a family. He had no wife or children. Back in Italy, Dante was struggling with money and he could do anything for money. That's why he came to New York. He wanted to enjoy his life, have all the beautiful women, all the fancy things. He wanted to be rich and live his life. But things weren't easy. He didn't have any support here. And he ended up working for Uber to make a living. But Dante could never give up on his fetish. His eyes were always on women. Is he checking us out? Hey, watch where you're going, man. I am watching. It was one of these nights. Dante met a guy at a bar downtown. You have quite a fine taste for women. Who doesn't? No. You have an exceptional taste. I've been noticing you for some time now. You come here often. You have a keen eye for beauty. You have a keen eye for beauty. Are you only going to go after women? Or you want to make some money in the process? What do you mean? I'll give you a deal. It's all about supply and demand. That night, Dante began his new job supplying women to underground syndicates. 
whenever he spotted beautiful women who had the potential to make good business. He informed the syndicate about them. And sometimes, when it was in his reach, he would do the job himself. Sometimes drug. And sometimes by physical force. Come, I'll drop you off. Which way are we going? Keep your mouth shut if you want to live. Life was great and Dante was making good money. It was on all this late one rainy evening. Dante got his eyes on a rather young and beautiful girl. <laughs> How is she going to go home in this rain? We have to drop her home. No, it's really not necessary. It's getting pretty late, I'll take a cab. Taking the opportunity, Dante showed up at the right moment. Taxi. One on one Baker Street. That night, when Melanie didn't return home, her mother was devastated. She informed the police, but they weren't able to do much. Desperate to find her daughter, Laura decided she would take it on herself and began searching. Melanie's friend had already spoken with the police. It was raining really hard and we were running late, so Melanie took a cab. That was the last time I saw her. Do you remember the license plate number? I don't. Laura began searching, patrolling around the movie theater, talking with taxi drivers in the area, but to no use. Until one night, she noticed Dante checking out a young girl. Dante resembled quite a bit with the description of Lisa. Lisa, is this the cab driver from that night? Yes. Yes, Miss Cullen, that's him. Finally finding her clue, Laura began following Dante, getting information about him. She was devastated to find out the dark business he was involved in. But she wasn't going to back out. She was determined to find her daughter. But in all this, Dante simply went missing for a month. And now, he has returned, driving Uber again for the past two weeks. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not the man who kidnapped your girl. 
disgusted by Dante. Laura held up her gun for the last time. And I guess you're of no use for me. Laura fired. But as Dante fell, he fell, and the snow, unable to move, <laughs> suddenly he began to laugh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Some months ago, Raul was living his life in California. Raul was a dealer. He used to sell substance to high school kids and college students, and he was making good money. Here are six pounds. It's a lot more than you usually take. Yeah, the demands are high. These day, kids are really into it. Yeah, but you're in debt. You better pay off. That night, after buying his substance from the syndicate supplier, as he was returning, Raul got tracked by the police. He realized if he wanted to get away, he had to dispose the substance. Without choice, Raul disposed the substance in the sewage of an alley. He was arrested that night, but soon let go as no evidence was found on him. But leaving the police station, Raul found himself in greater danger. Now, he didn't have the product to sell. How was he going to pay back the syndicate? Raul didn't have a choice but to flee, but he knew wherever he may go, the syndicate would find him. That night, after landing in New York, Raul took a cab outside the airport and ended up getting on Dante's car. shocked by the man's appearance. He looks just like me. This was his opportunity. On that ride, Raul got to know who Dante was, learn about his life. What's your name, man? Dante. You from here? No, I'm from Italy. Came here about a year ago. You've been working for Uber since? No, did some odd jobs. Now, this is my life. How much do you make? After all the deductions, not enough to live a desirable life. Sometime during the drive, while Dante and Raul were at a remote location, Raul made an excuse to stop the car. Gotta take a piss, man. Can you stop the car? While Raul walked into the woods, Dante stepped out for a smoke, not realizing it had all been a scheme against him. Taking Dante's life, Raul implanted his evidence on him and left his body there for police to find. And soon enough, they did, and the news of his death spread all over. The body of a man was found in the woods in upstate New York, identified as Raul Sanchez. He had come from California. There has been speculation that the syndicate might be behind this. A 
Faking his own death, Raoul was living as Dante. But what he didn't realize was that Dante was far more sinister than he was. I guess we both didn't deserve to live. Click on the subscribe button and check out more awesome videos on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon because you know it's interesting.